Hi, uh, welcome to another installment of Local Deviate Tutor. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your uh, SQL Developer environment. Um, so basically, I'm going to be working with uh, Oracle Express Edition uh, 11 GR2. And basically, I'm going to be going through different um, actions you can, you know, different actions, operations you can perform using a SQL developer. So I already have my SQL developer environment uh, set up. So I'm gonna log out on this account, disconnect, uh, close it out. So the first thing that you have to do is to get SQL, SQL developers, you have to uh, go to the Oracle website. So I have uh, I have Oracle open already, Oracle.com. Um, so basically when you get to this page, you go to you go to downloads, but you don't click on it. You click on uh, uh, Oracle Database Express Edition. And basically, after you go, after you go to the installation, um, this might take some time because I have a really bad connection. So after you go to this inst to the installation, you uh, again just accept it. Uh, so like which uh, which basically which Oracle ver which Oracle uh, um, uh, uh, edition basically fits, fits your, is for your environment and when you're done basically just do just configure it in your uh, in your file system so I have mine here in my uh, in my C drive so basically anytime that I need to uh, basically just uh, you know scrap a, uh, a previous installation of a uh, special edition, or to uh, or create, or to create a new, a new, to add a new, uh, to perform a new installation. Then basically, I can just go through to this. And again, so having this on your on your on your in, um, on your desktop basically allows for you to again, you can you can um, you can remove um, previous installation. You can you can also add you can also install new ones, uh, which is a neat thing with uh, uh with you know having this on your um you know. Uh, uh, available uh, whenever you whenever you want to access it. So that's what I was saying. So uh, basically, you select the uh, the version that you that's for your environment, uh, and then uh, what you need to do is you can you need to either select the SQL Developer or you can select the SQL Developer da Data Modeler. So basically, SQL Developer is just is exactly what I have what I have here, which is the which, which is just a um, Again, it's a it's a very it's a graphical tool, but it's also you know it, it allows you to do some perform some script, some scripting actions, uh, and also you have a SQL Developer data, data Modeler. This is for again what you if you were to model out an environment, then basically you would use Data Modeler to um, you know just assign uh, different attributes, uh, you know uh, sort of lay out what what the, what environment is going to look like, um, you know for different objects. And that's the that's the um, that's the, um, the um, you know why uh, you know you would uh, download or use uh, uh, the data modeler uh, along with SQL Developer. So basically, after you uh, download the Express Edition, so what you need to do is you need to have the JDK also installed on your uh, desktop. So uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna click on this. So actually, you know what? Before I do that. I already have all these installations, so I'm just gonna make sure that I do not have the agree um, uh, box or uh, check. So basically, just wanna refresh. Let me actually just close this one out. Uh, come on. Okay, so while this is while this is going on, uh, I will show you basically what I have my um, in my in my file system. So basically, I have everything in the D in the C drive as I've already told you, um, and this is my this is my Express Edition home. And pretty much uh, again. So basically, this is where you know, this is my uh, this is my the C app. Oh, oh, uh, the C app is my base, and this is where my software home is. The server. This is where my so my uh, my my Oracle software home. 
uh, is um, so um, so what okay all code is taking the website is taking a long time Okay, so again, just click on a uh, SQL developer, and also if you can, this is a very um, like I came across this browser, right? Um, it's called Maxton. Um, I've I've used it for about two weeks, two three weeks now. It's very it's a very reliable uh, uh browser, so I would uh, definitely suggest that you check it out. Um. This one, Maxon, and also uh, I know you. Um, again, so I, I I decided to try to to not use uh, Chrome as much because it kept crashing on me. So this is what this is one of the browsers that I came across. Uh, you know, doing my doing my search for a new for a new browser to use. So basically, you need to have the JDK. So when you click on the download button, it's going to take you to this page. And basically, here this is where you're going to select the JDK for uh, that's for your environment. Again, 64 bit or 32 bit. So basically, this is the one I have uh, um, installed on my uh, on my desktop. And let me show you guys what it is. So I have my JDK. So when you install it, um, it's gonna it's gonna basically be this is gonna it's gonna be your Java home. So uh, basically, it's gonna give you it's gonna give you a path. Uh, basically, what uh, what to what uh, uh, where you want to it's gonna ask you where you want to store uh, the JDK. So this is why so much the JDK. So basically, I have it in the Java slash JDK. Uh, this is I think I believe this, is, this should be the latest version. Um, yeah. This sh oh, you know what? I'm not. I take that back. But again, so figure out um, figure out uh, which which uh, version of uh, the JDK you know that's you know that's that's proper for your SQL web and then install it but for me like what I had to do was to just install what was already offered by uh, what was offered in this page and, and mine is working fine so basically you install it in this uh, in this in, in the in, in your de in your desired direct directory and then so let me close this out So what you do next is you have the JDK directory open. So you need to go into let me put these away. You need to go into uh into uh the 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 software home location. So this is why I have my software home. So I have it in as I as I just told you it's in, it's in the server the server. Uh, eleven that two that zero slash server right. So you need to first thing you need to do is you need to go into go to network. Um, actually before before you do that, uh, you need to figure out where did you where did you install your SQL developer. Uh, so what I did for mine is I just put it on my um, on my um, on my on my again so on my on my my it's it's it's, it's I, 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 on my desktop basically so I just put it on here so it's you know easy for me to access it um, and so again so uh, there's a reason why I did this and I'm gonna cover I'm gonna um, go through this in a little bit so basically first thing you do is you need to configure you need to um, go into your cell phone home go to network and go to admin and you're gonna have two files. You're gonna have uh, three files actually. You're gonna have the listener. You're gonna have the SQL name. You're gonna have the TNS name. Uh, TNS name. TNS name that that uh, uh TNS, name, TNS name file. And these are all our files. So basically, what you wanna do is you're gonna take these two files, the TNS names and the SQL net. Uh, uh the, the the TNS name and the SQL net that our files. <laughs> and you're gonna you're gonna basically you're gonna copy them. To, and then copy and then you're gonna go to your uh, your SQL developer home so keep in mind you have two SQL developer you have the uh, you have this part you have uh, you have the uh, the one the uh, basically the the, uh, the download um, the, the installation uh, folder and then you have a SQL developer folder so uh, so basically that's why I have 
I have the the uh, the, the screw driver folder up here. So, anyways, so basically, once you get into the SQL developer uh, folder, then basically what you have to do is you have to uh, copy and paste uh, the two files. So let me do this. I'm gonna close this off. And basically, I copied my SQL net and TNS names uh, that all files. So if you look at these files, basically this file just contains what my uh, my service name, which is XV. So basically, uh, again, so uh, again, wh what what happens is that when you put it in this directory, it's gonna it's gonna basically make the make the configuration on the SQL developer side uh, much go, go much smoother. So. Um, Again, so you put it, you put these two files in there, and then what you need to do is you need to you can then you can you have to, you have you can start skip SQL developer from you know from two um two different places. You can start it from from here. You can start it from uh basically by going to this directory, going to the bin, and again you also have a SQL developer. So in terms of um so you've already you've already set your Java home. Um, and basically, you know, to get to get started with SQL Developer, it's gonna, it's gonna request, it's gonna ask you that uh, for you to basically set your Java home. So this is the file that you can you can uh, you have to apply modification to uh, if you wanted to reset your Java home. So uh, I'm gonna go into this file and just make sure that uh, my Java home is set. Uh, so basically, if you look at you, this is the parameter that you, sh you should be looking for set Java home. Mine is already set. Um, so basically, I'm fine. And again, this path, all that it is 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 the JDK. It's this. It's this. Uh, this this directory. So if you copy this, if you copy this directory, and you paste it on here, that's basically the equivalent of what I have on here. So this is all you have. This is all the only the only uh, the only uh, value. This is the value that you, that you have to set for the uh, set Java home. So. I'm gonna get rid of this, save it, close it, and close it up. And then, so once you set that, you can then you can then start your uh, SQL, SQL Developer uh, application. So um, let me do this. What I didn't mention. Okay. Okay. There you go. So basically, once you once you start your SQL Developer application, so you this is your this is your welcome screen. You're gonna get people today. So uh, you can just again just bypass this and close it out. And then this is this is where it gets really interesting. So uh, basically, and if, if if you remember, I I set up I uh, I, I placed two files, the SQL names and the TNS names are that all files in my um in my uh, SQL Developer directory, right? And the reason why I did that is, basically, you can actually access your database uh, from, SQL, from the SQL Developer side, uh, basically, to create, to create your connection. So, uh, if you wanna create, if you wanna create, again, I'm working on XC, so I need to create a connection, right? So, let me do this. I'm gonna come here, and I'm gonna go to, and I'm gonna log in as a system, the SysDBA. There you go, and then I want to create a user. Create user example identified by example. Grant create session to example. Yeah, I could I could have picked a better name, but anyways, I'm gonna do this for demonstration purposes. So basically, I've created a user. And then, so what I do now is I go to my SQL Developer environment, and I click on uh, the plus button to start a new connection. And it's gonna, it's gonna basically just, um, it's gonna pop. Up. This window, this window is gonna pop up. Uh, also, you can do this. You can go to. Um, there's a, there's another way that you can actually just, you can, you can select which, uh, which type of connection you wanna. There you go. So you click on new. 
and you can select in you know within what whatever new object you want to create if it's connection if it's a table if it's a view package procedure it's up to you so i'm gonna i'm gonna create a connection have this connection so what i'll do is i'm gonna call this connection uh xc underscore underscore example and then i'm gonna uh call again the username is example and the password is example and then so in terms of in terms of the reason why uh in, in terms of the sql developer software actually recognizing my service name or my database name basically you have to go you have to come here to connect to connection type so also just if you so this is the window that you get when you when you um uh, when you um uh, so when you try to create a new connection you get you get the basic other connection type basically this is just for your again you, this is for your uh your typical host you know uh, this is just a, this is a portal you know it's it's going to look at the, at the at the sid for your for your local software but to bypass that you can actually use the uh the drop down menu item uh tns and basically what this does is it's going to recognize the service that you have installed so uh these are different services that i have in my tns name uh that all files so i'm going to select xe and then basically what i'm going to do now is i'm going to test and basically if you look at the bottom it, it was successful that means that I, I have access to the local the local uh database uh with this with this uh with this configuration so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to actually um i'm going to save this you can actually save it or you can just connect uh to the, to the database uh um by doing this so i'm going to again not save it but connect because i'm just showing you guys how to do it uh, and basically i'm logging in as a tip as a regular user now and i have my uh my the user the user at the top uh, and I have that user basically uh, as a connection on my SQL developer software now. So uh, again, you can set up um, a different, um, you know, uh, uh, items, uh, tree, 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 uh, uh, you know, uh, menu items for uh, for the different users. And basically, you can you can configure it to configure this in so many ways. Uh, it's really up to you. So, uh, but basically, this is just how uh, how you can get um, set up your uh, your, uh, your SQL developer software. And basically just and also just bypass uh, you know having to uh, basically just use the, the regular configuration and and basically al and, and, uh, and allow for the SQL developer software to recognize uh, the databases that you have installed on your on your you know in your envi in your environment uh, and this is uh, this is the end of this tutorial uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time